Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be going over some of my tips to work from home. So today's video is obviously a little bit against the norm for my channel, but given the current situation, I felt like it would be something that would be helpful. So on Twitter, I put out some tips about working from home, and then I said I might do a video on it. I had a poll for you guys, and the majority of you were interested in this video. So. I'm by no means an expert on working from home and what works for me might not necessarily work for you, but I feel like these tips are pretty general for whatever you do. If you are able to work at home at this time or you're a student or whatever, I think that you'll be able to apply this to whatever your given situation is and hopefully you get something out of it. But really, I'm by no means an expert. This is just what I would recommend kind of starting with, but find what works for you. I know this is a period of adjustment for a lot of people with being quarantined and having to work from home. So I honestly feel like so weird saying that, like it's like I'm in a dystopian novel. It's very scary right now, but I'm making this video to try and help you guys out and make this transition as easily as possible. I mentioned that I wanted to make some content to help everyone with this time and this is one of the videos that I decided to do. I'm also going to be doing some videos that are just like about book recommendations and all of that stuff but I thought this might be put to good use. So I personally have been working from home for almost a year now and it has definitely been a learning experience for me. I worked at a bookstore as well as my other two jobs that I do from home and I finally decided to quit and just work from home and I have definitely learned a lot over the course of this past almost year that I feel like might help you guys out. So my two jobs that I do are writing and YouTube so obviously very easy to do that anywhere as long as I have a computer pretty much I'm good to go. Once again I don't know what your situation is if you are able to work from home and what you do obviously depends on how helpful this will be for you but one of the hardest things for me with working from home is is that I'm my own boss and a lot of you guys probably have bosses out there that you're still reporting back to but to a large extent no matter if you do have a higher authority that you're reporting back to whether it's a teacher or a boss if you're working from home you still are pretty much your own boss and that can be really difficult because you're reporting back to yourself and you're holding yourself accountable so it takes some real self-discipline to get everything you need to do accomplished but that's what I'm gonna help you with. So one of my must-haves for working from home is a planner. I got this one a while ago. I've been using it for a while and I have a system that works for it. You can also just use a pad of paper. Don't go out and buy a planner. Minimize your contact with other people so like don't order one or anything. You can just make your own, make a bullet journal, whatever. The point is have a place where you write your to-do list for the day. Even if you throw it out at the end of the day when you're done and then start a new the next day, the point is to have a list of everything that you need to do. Now with that list you want to prioritize and strategize accordingly and tackle it accordingly. So obviously you know that some things need to be done sooner than others whether you have a due date or there's a deadline or whatever. So those would be the things that I would do first according to when they are due. Just Think about it smartly and you'll see what you have to prioritize over something else. As far as your environment for working from home goes, I would say to one, have a single space that you do your work in. The hardest part about working from home is separating that work time and leisure time, but having a specific space to do your work in is going to very much help with that. So obviously I have an office here, which I'm very lucky to have, but I haven't always had that. So have like even a dining chair that whenever you sit at that certain dining chair, it's because you're working. Sit at like a couch or something, just pick a spot and you only work there. It can be any spot in your house, anywhere where you're comfortable and you feel like you can spend your work day. So that's the other thing. Have a work day. So even though you are working from home and you are your own boss and you can make your own hours, a lot of people I feel like probably have to like clock in somehow, but even if you don't, hold yourself accountable by having a clock in and clock out time. So if you regularly work an eight hour day, try and work an eight hour day and you don't necessarily have to do like nine to five like you normally would. You can sleep in a little bit and do like 10 to six, like whatever works for you, just make sure you do have those work hours blocked out. So then you won't have the leisure time and the work time kind of blending 
in and you will have that time where you're like okay it's work time so during those working hours minimize your distractions that's obviously very hard a lot of people have kids home right now but try your hardest to be like okay this is the time to focus on this and I know that's a really like hard tip to follow but just try your best. If you're finding that Facebook and stuff like that is more of a distraction than it usually would be especially the news being a distraction I know it has been for me then you can get Google Chrome extensions that will block certain websites for an allotted amount of time so then you can focus on whatever it is that you need to do so I would definitely recommend that. In addition to having your work hours make sure to give yourself breaks as you normally would. Don't be afraid to take like a five minute break every now and again and also give yourself a lunch break. Basically try and operate as normally as you possibly can. Act like you are at work even if you aren't at work and that's going to help you not to fall behind on what you have to do and to not get overwhelmed by the changes that are going on around you. Ultimately structure is going to be your best friend. I find that keeping a structure to my day is the most helpful if I have a plan going into things. So if you're struggling to hold yourself accountable and get your to-do list done because you keep on procrastinating because of where you are, try and make an hourly schedule. Use whatever you can, like you can just use pen and paper, but I personally use my calendar on my computer and I will block out like during this hour from one to two I will be like writing and then from two to three I will be filming or planning videos or whatever Whatever, but just block out those task times so then you have something you're like okay I know that at this time I have to move on to this and I don't know if that makes any sense but I think that it helps me at least to tackle the day a little bit more and have it be a bit more structured when I'm the only one here to hold myself accountable. I would say on that note and with the mentioning of having your own work hours also try and keep to a routine that is as close as possible to what you normally would do. So say usually after work you would go straight to the gym work out at home you don't need like i went out and i bought myself some weights and stuff like that so then i can keep active well i'm still staying at home and social distancing but you can also just use your body weight there's tons of workouts on pinterest there's so many different resources that you can continue to keep that in your routine but maybe you like go home and watch tv after so go to your couch wherever you usually watch TV and do that once you clock out of work. Just try and keep as normal as possible. I know I sound like a broken record, but it just is a matter of keeping that routine, keeping structured and holding yourself accountable, but also keeping things normal, which is very specific for the current situation. Even if you're in school or at work or whatever, but your class or work would be done and you would normally go out for coffee with some friends or something like that, FaceTime with those same friends. Have like a group text, something, talk with them at the same time because being social is also an important part of not feeling isolated while working from home and social distancing. But you do have phones and technology now so you don't have to be completely socially distant. Just don't go outside. Another thing I wanted to add is try and get dressed for the day. I'm a terrible example of this right now because I am wearing sweatshirts pants on the bottom but I do try and get dressed and get ready put on my makeup and keep that daily routine every day or else if you're kind of just sitting around in your pajamas and just doing whatever lazing around I find it can be a little bit harder to get motivated to actually do things and start working but if I feel put together and ready and this might just be a personal thing but then I feel like I'm actually ready to get to work. Those are really all of the tips that I have honestly. I hope that this did help and wasn't just me talking in circles. Just from my own experiences this is what has helped me make that transition from actually having a job to just working from home all the time. I understand under the circumstances of everything that's going on today it is a little bit different but I think that trying to keep normal and a sense of normalcy is going to really help you and your mental health. I know it's not an easy time for anyone with mental health issues. My anxiety has been a huge issue recently, but that's why I'm trying to make these videos for you guys and keep positive and upbeat and we're we're gonna get through this, I promise. You will be able to go outside eventually again. It's just for the next little bit, 
try it and keep to yourself. Not only just for your own sake, but also for the sake of others. It's just very important. Listen to whatever your public health officials are saying and take their advice to heart and follow it because they're there to help you. It might seem like they're restricting you and trying to put you in a box right now and going to these draconian measures, but it is for your own safety and the safety of everyone around you. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about that and have like seen an overload of information, but I just wanted to say that. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick little thing that I wanted to do to try and give you some advice, but I will be getting back to regular book recommendations and all that stuff that I'm a little bit better at. I will have my bookshelf tour that will be coming out this week as well, so stay tuned for that, and I hope that you guys stay safe and healthy and have a great day despite everything that's going on, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!